So let's contrast that OFDMA with uh, the previous generation OFDM because they sound almost the same. It sounds like we just put an A on the end of it uh, for some random reason, but actually they, they do mean completely different things. So let's go ahead and contrast OFDMA, which is introduced with 11AX with OFDM from, I mean, just literally a couple of years ago, right? AOS.11AC right. was OFDM. So what is the difference? It, it just, uh, you know, how, how does how does the packet behavior difference change? How does how does the packets change and the the um, access to the RF medium change with OFDM versus OFDMA? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll actually take this from OFDM A's side. So okay. the A stands for access, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, wireless is a contention protocol. So you know, if I hear somebody talking, I basically have to be quiet and allow that communication to go on. And we have the things in there that kind of help out with that with random back off and stuff like that. So where if two people talk at the same time, then there'll be a randomness of when they try to talk again. But with the OFDMA, now, it, you know, wireless is a little bit more like a switch than just, uh, you know, contention based and one person talk at a time. So that, that OFDM helped with being able to you know, packetize the resources into, you know, utilizing as much wireless space as I needed. But then the A added that 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 access, the multiple access to it, to allow for these clients to be able to truly use that airspace. And then, you know, we, you know, I've said the word airtime utilization and stuff like that. But you know, really, uh, airtime utilization is one of those things that kind of similar to our old time wired of network utilization, right? When you got up to around the 80%, that means you were totally saturated. Well, 80% is not really something that you can get out of your, your wireless in a sense because I have a lot of retransmit, it's not a one-to-one -one link. Well, the OFDMA allowing for multiple people to talk reduces that contention, reduces that, that airtime and allows more clients to be able to talk fairly across that period of time. Right, right. So you, you, you focus on the key thing there, the M in OFDMA, stands for multiple, the A is access, so multiple right. access, whereas OFDM, the, 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 the M stood for multiplexing. So it was, so the same letter, M, but one in one case, but they mean different things. So with OFDM, you know, the, the challenge there uh, on this, on the, on the old, the flip side of that coin uh, we just talked about, with OFDM, with 11AC, uh, every, every transmitter, and you mentioned earlier that uh, Wi-Fi is a contention-based protocol. So that means that every time slot, only one device can transmit in a, in, a, in a time slot. So whether the packet being transmitted is just a, a small management frame, could be a, a, a voice packet, it could be just an acknowledgement packet or something. It could be a very small packet, 64 bytes it could be, as small as that. It could be a large frame of, um, you know, video frame 1348 bytes. But whether it's a large frame or a small frame, it's, it's allotted that same time slot to transmit and it used the entire frequency. So it's, it's very wasteful. Uh, in fact, some networks that I've, I've seen, uh, up to 70% of the traffic uh, on, on that network are very, very small frames. So when you see 802.11 AC and it says, well, this is, a, oh, this is a, a, an AC 3200, which theoretically says it's 3.2 gigabits per second. Have you ever gotten 3.2 gigabits per second off of an AC 3200 access point? No, no, and you never will, <laughs> and you never, ever, ever will. So it, it's a, b because it is a contention-based protocol. You're never going to be able to utilize it 100. That's the problem we're trying to solve here. When you and then you start to double up your devices every year. We buy something new. We don't throw away the old stuff. Uh, my house right now. I've got I've got 19 things on my network at home right now. Um, didn't think I'd ever get to that point, but I, and I'm not even. That's not even a big number for some. For some people, it's even more than that. So our networks are getting more dense. Again, we're still transmitting these small packets. We're just wasting time is what we're doing. And OFDMA solves that waste of time by allowing, again, the M, you mentioned the M and the A, the multiple access. It allows multiple devices to transmit at the same exact time using smaller sections of frequency. So take that frequency, whether it's a 20 megahertz channel or a 40 megahertz channel, break it up into small resource units, allow individual transmitters to transmit at the same time using these dedicated little slices 
of frequency. That's OFDMA. Now, um, so the, and another key thing about OFDMA and this, this technology uh, with 11AX is that something, somebody has to be in charge. Um, it is a contention-based protocol. You still have to deal with contention. Even with OFDMA, you have to deal with, with uh, devices that contend and, and might interfere. So something has to be in charge of this. And in 11AX, that something is the access point. He tells all the clients when to wake up, when to go to sleep, uh, when to transmit, when to receive, and what resource, very importantly, what resource units are you allowed to use for your particular transmission? So, so that, that creates what we call a deterministic network. 